You know, right now, R. Kelly's getting the Bill Cosby treatment, whether you think he deserves it or not. He's getting the Bill Cosby treatment. What I mean by that is, he's being crucified by the court of public opinion. Now, I told you guys way back, way back before he was arrested, I said, if they go after R. Kelly, they're going to bring his past. They're going to use his past to get him. And a lot of people thought that I was reaching, and I said, y'all don't understand. Some of our brothers and sisters have got hip to the game, maybe a little too late. But some of our brothers and sisters are not doing what the media is saying they're doing. When R. Kelly went through that first trial, I think somebody whispered in his ear like, yo, dude, you dodged a bullet. Stay away from teenage girls. They don't care how much they come at you. Stay away from it. And he probably did mess with, with some right after that trial. But <clears throat> if you notice, R. Kelly, when he's at the war shows, he was either by himself or he had his, his, his male entourage around him. If he had any women around him, they'd appear to be age appropriate. When I mean age appropriate, I'm talking about over 21. I ain't talking about somebody that you sit there like you wonder, you know, because I'm telling you, they was watching not just guys like R. Kelly, but they was watching a lot of brothers the last uh, few years or so, more so the last 11 years. And a lot of this started because of who was in that White House at the time. <clears throat> and I know y'all like, you blaming Obama. This is not directly on Obama, but he's indirectly involved in this because you had a lot of Caucasian men and women, but women especially, left or right, were mad because Hillary didn't get their presidency. And when he won that night, and the camera crew cut to Grant, I mean, uh, Grant Park, and they showed Reverend Jackson and a few other brothers crying, more so than black females, and more so than any uh, people who are white. <clears throat> and then they show the reaction around the country and around the globe for a few days. Who was crying? Who was more emotional? The black male, young and old. And that scared them because in the news, they start presenting, what does this mean for you as a little black boy? And then they said, for as a black man, this means doors will open up. Things are finally going to right themselves. Now I can look at my son and I, and I don't have to tell him when he get a certain age what he can't be or what they're going to try to tell him he can't be. And they didn't like that. And if, you've been, if you were paying attention, you know there was, was positive news stories they was playing behind this. Because everybody wanted to ride that Obama wave. I mean, everywhere you went, it was some merchandise with Obama being sold. Walmart, Kmart, you name it. You go anywhere. Shirts, even the comic book store. That shirt that Alex Ross did with Obama, you know, with his shirt ripped like that famous image he did of Superman. That was selling like crazy. Obama was on comic books. I mean, he was everywhere. Cartoon everywhere. And people was listening to black radio, listening on, on social media, reading social media, listening to YouTube and these other streaming sites as well, not at that time. And they was like, hmm, we don't need that image. Because remember back when Jerry Hoover and them said, we don't need a black messiah? And people were saying that about Obama. They think he's a, new, he's a messiah. And they started acting weird. And they started, and after when he was sworn in, that's when the attacks on black men and black boys started to ratchet up. Now, I'm not saying nothing prior didn't happen. Because prior to Obama when Tiger Woods went through some stuff where he went where he was uh out and out for cheating on his wife. But if y'all notice, it wasn't just one white chick. It was a, it had to be a bunch of them, and the media gave them cover, treated them like they was victims because they knew that during the presidential campaign, you got the black guy that like he might actually have a chance of winning, and now you got Tiger Woods who white folk just claim they like. But when they finally saw that he had it, it was fallible, they said, we're going to pounce. And they learned, from, they learned from now on, you just can't be one or two white chicks or any woman. You got you to gotta pounce on a man. You, gotta, you had to come out with multiple people. You got to say the most heinous things, and you got to keep it in the news cycle over and over. But when Obama won, they, 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 brought, they, they was talking about Tiger Woods they, all the way into, into that time. And then they answered sort of Chris Brown and Rihanna. And at first, nobody was talking about it, really. They came to the black community to see what black celebrities said. They stopped, because I'm telling you, during the 08 campaign, 
they didn't come, they stopped coming into the black community, getting our pen or anything, or putting a mic in our face because they, they would be afraid that something was going to be said to spark somebody. So what they did was white women was complaining about the coverage or why the black community or black women particularly wasn't angry. Like most people said, that's their business. We don't know what really went down. That's why Harvey Levin over there at TMZ, that's why them two Puerto Rican cops ran it and showed the uh, mug shot. They're like, we need y'all, we need to show y'all what Chris did to Rihanna. And, and, and people said, ooh, it, was, it wasn't, that, wasn't that horrible. It's just that she didn't have no makeup on. And she did, she had some bruising. And she light in, the, in that light, because when you saw her face, a face after a face didn't look like that. And anybody know, when you get, if you get beat up really bad, you're going to bruise, we swell up. And Rihanna's face didn't look like that after a few, you know, a few days. She didn't look like she was in a fight. Now, people can argue it was makeup. I still say that the, if you go look at the mug shot, it was the way the picture was taken. And the, and, 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 and the thing is, not saying that she didn't have no bruises, but I'm, but I'm pretty sure Chris had to lick his wounds too now. But white women started to complain. And then black women in Hollywood started to feel like, oh, we, we can't defend this. Or we can't pretend like it didn't exist. Tyra Banks, Robin Givens, Wendy Williams, Robin Roberts, uh, um, the women over at The View, at The Talk. Um, um, but Mama Oprah, she gave everybody cover. Black female, white female to come out. And Chris Brown, even to this day, is still in li- trying to live it now. Now, Chris was 19 when it happened. Chris, would, now this year, he'd be 30 years old this year. But, and, and they still bring it up. But the reason why they went, they kept making Chris and kept talking about Tiger Woods is because you wanted to embarrass black men. You wanted to put some up against that image of Barack Obama. Like, yeah, because you remember they said, we wish Barack Obama was... Was you know more black men were like Barack Obama. Look at his temperament. This came from, it, from black women and white women. But white women was out there talking about it to the point every time you turn around, Chris Brown, Tiger Woods, Chris Brown. Then after a while, Tiger Woods come out. Uh, I give my apology to my um, friends and uh, my mom um, and my ex wife and blah 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 my children. So they sort of backed off. They started to back off of them. They had a new boogeyman. They knew everybody's like, they're going to go in on Chris Brown. And then Michael Jackson died. And Obama can't even, even give Michael Jackson proper respect. Uh, we know he had uh, trouble in his life. But you had a white senator that died that was a racist. And he spoke highly of him at his, at his, at his uh, weight. So you saw, you saw that. But in the process, white women kept going in on because they was mad because Hillary Clinton didn't win or because Sarah Palin didn't make vice president. And if you go back and look at that year, a lot of black men came under scrutiny. Most, a lot of them was uh, college football players. For a while, it was like everything turned around with some college football player was being accused of something. Or an NFL player was being accused of something. Remember when, um, when that thing with Ray Rice happened and then that other the football player... His, his his child was murdered. I, I forget the football player name now. His child was murdered. His his, his ex boyfriend killed the baby. They didn't focus on that. They focused on disciplining his his current uh, his his child in his current relationship with his wife. They didn't focus on his child being murdered. They focused on disciplining his 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 his, his, his sibling. They tried to make it like brother was abusing his kid and white women was yelling the loudest. They was on TV right around these bitter ass black women yelling out. And I kept telling everybody, I said, it's because they can't get rid of that White House. Y'all don't believe me. Type in, go back and type in uh, to, to Obama um, uh, or uh, 2009, 2010. Go look at the stories back then. Type in any of those well known black men or college age brothers in, in, on YouTube. I guarantee you find a video on it. Go to Young Turks. Go all the way back. Did they archive? Go back and listen to how these famous white women were. And then remember Kanye West? Remember how people was open talking about they wanted to kill him and everything? And they was going in hard on it. But that feminist element of white America, they was, they was just attacking brothers. Brother make a mistake, even if he admit and apologize, it ain't good enough. Because they couldn't get this dude in the White House. 
So any black man was fair game. That's why I told y'all way back in 2012, I said, I see, they're going after black men. They're going after them hard. And some of y'all agreed with me. Some of y'all thought I was being paranoid. That's when I told y'all, I said, they're going to get Cosby. Oh, they ain't gonna do nothing. Bill. They love Bill Cosby. No, they don't. I said they 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 try to get Will Smith. They've been chomping at the bit for Will Smith. I think they ain't gave up on getting Will Smith. They Jay Z was they was even criticizing like they was about to criticize him. That's why he came out talking about oh my mom is gay. Being gay is like being black. When he said they backed off a little bit. If you remember, it was white women came out George Zimmerman defense. Real hard when he when when that thing with Trayvon Martin, they went and got Ron Goldman, sister Kimberly Goldman, and I don't know why they put the Goldmans out. It had nothing to do with the Martins. White people was mad that Black America was defending these Black men and women, but most of these Black men were being shot left and right. Remember that they, they uh, Stephanie Seymour's sons openly said and joked they wanted to assassinate President Obama. Remember that white chick got caught on TV and she said she wanted this as an Obama? How many of them spend any time in jail? Right now, if you said that by our current commander in chief, Secret Service be knocking on your damn door. And during that time, there was people talking about sexual harassment and stuff, but they wanted to make it like a black male thing. And I told you, I said they're gonna make they try to make us the face of sexual harassment. This reminded me back in the 90s when they, when they was going they was blaming brothers left and right. And a lot of people out here didn't, didn't see it. I, and certain incident happening here. Somebody said, Harvey, how did, you were right about that. I said, just wait and see. But what triggered, what, what triggered the, the, the current climate with R. Kelly and Bill Cosby and them? Well, who, well, Cosby, they figured he's up in age now. And we can get him now, but we need a black person to do it. And they went and got hell of a burst. But I'm going to tell you what, what triggered this current R. Kelly thing is this performance right here. And I keep telling y'all, because I remember I did the, when it, the hat, I saw it, I did a video that right after SNL went off, I said, they finna go out to R. Kelly. Because that image of him and Lady Gaga doing, and what, what, what image did R. Kelly do? You, you, if you look at the background, if you guys know what they was doing, and let me go pull that image so you make it even clearer for y'all. I want y'all to look at these images. This is from SNL. Look what R. Kelly got. He got her up in there. Look what he got his hand. That's why when Lady Gaga came out and said what she said, I wasn't buying it. Look, look, look what R. Kelly, what were they doing? If you guys don't remember, they was he's supposed to have been President Obama slash Kennedy. And she's supposed to be Marilyn Monroe or whatever current white woman that's popular. Remember the joke that went around? They, even they went up and brought about Obama, who he was engaged to before. He got with Mrs. Obama. Y'all know, y'all, if y'all know any history, JFK and Marilyn Monroe was intimate. And, 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 and the worst fear that white people have that a black man get power or get a position of authority that he have his way with white women. And, and, and I'm going to tell y'all something. When R. Kelly and Lady Gaga did this, this, don't think that that wasn't what people picked up on. That's why I told you that that they was going after black men, and white women in particular. They was doing and white and some white males were white women because this is they fear that a black man gets in a position of, of authority or perceived power that he's not gonna just have his way with with his own. He's gonna start messing with them. That's why they did this. People say what because of the song. No, they didn't have. They could have did anything. They just could have performed the song like they did the other song. When they did this, I remember hearing gaps. You go back and watch it. He might edit it out now, but he may not even play it, a rerun ever again. Because if anybody went back with a critical eye and realized Lady Gaga knew what was going on, she was a willing participant, and that little lame thing she said, they were saying, wait a minute, you, you went to R. Kelly because you knew he was going to write you some hit songs. You went with him went to him because you knew that that, that would give you an extra five minutes of fame. You would get that crossover fame because... Uh, uh, Molly Virus was you doing that. You know what I mean? They go hook up with some black producer, but R. Kelly was writing people hooks and hits. Everybody called the man dumb. He may not be the smartest, smartest dude, but he was smart enough to be in there sitting down and write lyrics and use his talent, God given talent. But this is what triggered a lot of this. R. Kelly said, I remember telling me, I said, uh oh, they're gonna go after R. Kelly. 
Look at this right here when he's how they performing. They they that pissed them off that night. And white women said, well, we can't come out and let I see let us be the ones that got our hands is we need to go out and we need to go to those women that have been bitching about R. Kelly. Uh, and the ones who was whining about R. Kelly in our community were ones that R. Kelly, uh, like most celebrities, they, they deal with groupies. They move on. A lot of them was promised they was going to be singers or a lot of them thought they was going to be taken care of or they were going to be the next Mrs. Kelly. Or a lot of them realized when they was 15, 16 years old chasing after a 20-something-year-old man that they, they put themselves they put themselves. In, in, in Cash 22. You know what I mean? That if they really wanted to get justice, why didn't they come out during that 08 trial? Everybody said, well, they got paid off. They could have got paid when he went to jail if, they, if, they, if it was that serious. Oh, oh, we was that Frank. No, you wasn't. Because today, you're getting more criticism today and backlash today when you didn't, didn't back, when you got back then. That's why Aaron McGrew did that Boom Night episode. He was basically calling out people who sat back and indulge. We, we let rich people do what they want because they're rich. We figured we're going to be a part of they, 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 they inner circle. Oh, I let him do it. I, I, I remember hearing girls when I was school. It wasn't just R. Kelly. And, and, and today you have females that say because of some dude is famous, they let a dude do all kinds of stuff with them and to them. They don't care. And then they reach a certain age and they got that that remorse or they aged out. Now, now it's a problem. But I'm telling you, this would trigger a lot of R. Kelly issues. See? They folks was incensed when they saw this. And I said, I said, uh-oh. And then all of a sudden they stopped him R. Kelly's past. R. Kelly go do an interview, they bring up about a limb. I'm like, why all of a sudden now? But then, they, then I said, wait a minute, they're doing it to Bill Cosby. And see, once they started, they just realized, oh, we can do that guy with Bill Cosby. Let's go after all of them now. That's why you started seeing white women confront black men, getting the black men faces. This is why they felt more comfortable. I mean, they've always done this. They felt more emboldened. But when brothers like myself started pointing out a pattern, uh-oh, all of a sudden, it's a problem. I mean, think about this. They doing a duet. Why? Why this White House thing? Because even then, people knew that that Obama was. They wanted to get go after Obama, and and and, and, and in that in that scenario, because I don't recall any black person doing a JFK type memoro type thing in music. If it wasn't with a, if it was done, it was done with another black actor. It wasn't. It it wasn't done with a white woman and a black man. I'm telling you, that triggered a lot of people. And that's why he, when he went on Huff Post, that, that Indian woman came, came up nasty. And people felt sorry for him. They said, yo, she went, went too far. And he kept saying, I don't want to talk about that. I moved on. I'm not messing with anybody underage. He, he said, and he kept repeating over and over, but she kept going in on him. And then you had Mark Lamont Hill try to come and defend, and then you had Torrey come out, and I'm like, they y'all participating, you had Goldie Taylor in them. I'm like, what the hell y'all doing? If R. Kelly was caught with an underage girl at that point, then I, yeah, I got it. But but R. Kelly was trying to move on and do his other thing. He would go do a concert, they was out boycott. I'm like, these some bitter ass women. They didn't get the desired result. Or they didn't get anything out of it. Now, now they say, let's go after R. Kelly. I, and I'm sitting there like, I, and I said to myself, I'm not an R. Kelly fan. But even I can see what they doing. Every time you turned around, and but then what happened around Academy Award, people stopped bringing Woody Allen. And people said, well, if y'all going to go after R. Kelly and Cosby with these criticisms, what about Woody Allen and the rest of these guys? Because it was a documentary that came out. And around that time, people with Stephen Collins it just happened months prior. And they and they were trying to hush that up. And a lot of people was going online and saying, wait a minute, why are y'all not talking about these other voices? Why are y'all giving Woody Allen uh, the, uh, uh, the Academy Award? Why are y'all celebrating him? And people said, we don't, in the media, like, oh, well, we don't like the hypocrite. We don't look like we just go after the black guys. So it died down a little bit. And you didn't hear really nothing about it. They, they went, but they said, we're going to go after Cosby. 
Let's go after old man Cosby. But there was still whispers in the background about R. Kelly. But but it didn't it didn't come to a head until they did that doc last January. And that and, and, and right then and there I said, Ooh, that's a hit piece. Because now you take you putting these stories out here that was never told or 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 or, or they had a chance to tell them and you wait and you let women who are now a certain age sound like they're better than me. And and, and, and a lot of people sat there and said, Where was the parents at? Where were these guardians at? Look, I am not condoning. If R. Kelly did those things with them when they was young, I'm not condoning. But y'all, if we're going to go after R. Kelly, there's a lot of other people that we need to be critical of now and look with a more critical eye. As a black man living in America, I know when they when they got the exerting on us. All those white dudes that have been accused, where are they at? They're not in jail. They're not getting specials done about them. See, once they, they, they got Cosby, once they knew they could destroy Chris Brown in court of public opinion, and, and Kanye West, whoever, any other brother, these college-age brothers, or any major uh, 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 professional ball player, they said, we, we, didn't got, we didn't got a kick out of this. Last year, they went out there, like every week there was a brother being out there, but I think they overplayed the hand when they went after Morgan Freeman and that uh, professor. You know, DeGrasse uh, Tyson, um, if I got his name correctly. They went, they went overboard with it. I had told y'all when they did Todd Bridges, I'm like, okay, now they really reaching now. Because my thing is, if these guys did what they said they did, why did you hit them in their prime? Why did you hit them when they was at the top of their game? Why now? And the, th and the thing is, once they taste blood, they don't stop. They keep going. But another image I want to show y'all that really, that I think, spooked people. And I'm going to show y'all something. Who are the most popular women in currently in music besides Beyonce? Either it's Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, or Taylor Swift. Now there's a few more, but I'm talking about the upper echelon, up there, that up there on that level where they, they try to dethrone de de Beyonce. Who's sitting in the middle of them? R. Kelly. Do you think that 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 they wanted that image to see? Years ago, if R. Kelly did a duet, they moved, they went on about their business. But they sit next to uh, right in the middle of R. Kelly, the guy that had rumors about him. This is what triggered these people. This is what triggered a lot of these white women and the black females that went out there at a, as teenage girls or women who should have known better. They bitter and they out here. Now they all joined forces. When Lifetime joined in, they, they, they saw what they did with A&E and them did over with Bill Cosby. Or was that Bravo? Whatever the station was. They're they, they both similar. They said, why don't we do a say? We ain't seen wings. We, you know, they talk about a Harvey Weinstein thing, but I ain't seen it on TV. Les Moonves, CBS got a mad on for R. Kelly. Les Moonves was, was, found out that he was the one messing with Janet Jackson. Everything she did something. He had gave a, a directive. She don't get to do this. She don't get to do this. Nobody talks about that. Look how fast the people and women at NBC came to town broke all the fence. All these white guys that have been accused of something, you don't hear nothing. There's a long list of white men and Hispanic men and Asian men. But all you hear negative is about is black men. But they going after the most creative and the ones that the ones who have more influence. This is why I was mad at people when they like when they was going after cop. I said, Y'all don't realize what you're doing. You open the, you open a door, you open a Pandora's box. When they was just blasting Chris, I said, instead of y'all jump on the bandwagon, y'all pull Chris and Rihanna to the side. Or you say, Brother Chris, go sit down so I don't 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 let the media manipulate you. Sister Rihanna, don't, don't let the media manipulate you. I mean, just think about the image. Look at the imagery. A black man sitting next to two white females that are popular. I got a question. Are white women going to criticize Justin Timberlake for what he did to Janet Jackson? 
Are we going to see them talk about Doug, Doug Cutchison marrying that 16-year-old girl when he was at age 50? Are we going to talk about Paul Walker Gods, how he died? Are we going to talk about him messing with uh, teenage girls that were younger than his own daughter? Jerry Steinfeld. All these people, they had jokes. It was out here making jokes and talking about R. Kelly. Gail King and Oprah Winfrey, once again, and I forgot to mention Gail King back initially about the Chris Brown. That was the other person. If you notice, they've been in close proximity of these stories. 50 Cent, I'm not a fan of 50 Cent. I think he's immature for a man his age. But when he called out Oprah and said, yo, why is Oprah only going after these people? <coughs> I mean, think about it. Russell Simmons in the news. But see, once they do R. Kelly, and you know they're working on the doc for Russell Simmons. They're working on it. Who's going to be next? I guarantee they're gonna bring Tiger Woods back up. Because they don't think he did they don't think he did the perk walk yet. I'm telling y'all, this is why a lot of these brothers should be nervous, fit well known or not, because they'll go back and get people to <coughs> excuse me <coughs> say things that we don't know are true or not. Now, as I can say, our Kelly married a leader back in ninety four. Everybody knows that. But if Aaliyah own mother and father enough they raised hell back then, and they ain't raised hell while Aaliyah was alive, and they, and they ain't saying nothing now because people who want to sit there with a rational mind and say, well, what can a parent, <coughs> what that they daughter go around a grown man? And then find out this grown man and her is having an inappropriate relationship, find out they was married. You should, why didn't you raise hell? Because you're, looking at, your, you're looking, at, looking at that green. And then the ones, the women are coming out now saying R. Kelly did these things to them. Y'all, what? Y'all now 40, 40, 40, 43 at the most? Now y'all, y'all, y'all bitching and moaning? And maybe and some may be in their in they, in they, uh, late 30s, but y'all, now all of a sudden y'all bitching about R. Kelly? And then the people who are criticizing R. Kelly, we, we, we didn't know. Oh, come on. Even though a lot of that stuff is rumored, there's things that we do know, and y'all still dancing the man's music. Y'all still going to his concerts. Y'all still trying to get back there and give him, give him, give him some goodies. But y'all let a document documentary which is a hit piece, because I'm gonna be honest with you, these documentaries are the reason why he's in jail. That's the reason why a TV thing, a a a, a, a hit piece. And, 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 and y'all go look at the meaning of hit piece and y'all understand why I use that term hit piece. It's because you let people come out of the woodwork and say things that can't that, that that can't be proven. Oh, I slept with I Kelly. We don't know if you did that or not. And we don't if you we don't know if you lied about your age or not. See what they doing, they taking that incident with Aaliyah and whatever that incident that video with Sparkle Cousin, niece, whoever she is, the sparkle. And they said, well, you see, they had, they had that happen. But then the people around R. Kelly who claim now, oh, he's, he did this. Y'all enabled him. Y'all knew it. Y'all could easily say, yo, dude, we ain't participating in this, man. Yo, man, we going to the police. Y'all could have did that anytime. Now that the man money is running dry, the man is in jail. Now y'all want to like, R. Kelly did this. This morning on the news, this girl, she went on CBS like she was smiling. He did this to me. He did that to me. And I'm sitting there like, wow. Where were y'all at 08? Where were y'all at in 98? Where were y'all at when, when R. Kelly was was doing uh, your body's calling and all that other stuff? They didn't say nothing. And the only reason why this has rubbed me the wrong way is because I told y'all they can't get, don't get him nothing current. They got to go to his past. If they got to go to his past to get him, that means they reaching. That means they know he had nothing. Because remember, initially, they said he was keeping grown women hostage. And there were reporters on TV, white reporters like, well, if he did all that, why the grown? Um, did he just leave? And so they said, we got to come up with something else. 
then you start seeing Gloria Allred and Lisa Bloom get involved, you're like, okay, you know what's going on. See, the problem we have as black Americans is that we're not paying attention to, to what people are doing and saying. We allow people to manipulate us and go after our own, our own. We allow people to play us against each other. Now, I mean, I hear people on TV and the black community just run rapid. And you know who's saying that? White men and white women and black women. And y'all and brothers like, yeah, we've been telling y'all that's an element in our community that we've tried to keep y'all from, protect y'all from, but we was told mind your own business. Y'all were riding down for these type of dudes. Now y'all reach a certain age, now y'all want our sympathy. And guess what? That's an element of black females who are starting to see what we've been saying. And they like, nah, girl, you was out there, your ass, you was out there doing everything. You wanted to do now, you didn't reach a certain age, now you want to complain. This morning on the WGN Morning Show, that white dude, Jim Derrigatis, Der whatever his name is, he was on there, and you could see him taking a victory lap. Yeah, I got a book out. Yeah, he's going to stay in jail. He's never going to get out of jail. Me and he started mentioning Mary Mitchell. All of a sudden, he started mentioning Mary Mitchell again. Now, remember, I told y'all he wasn't mentioning her name. Now, all of a sudden, they start, I'm telling you, I don't know if people watching my videos or people starting to say, wait a minute, what about Mary Mitchell? Because she was the black female out there yelling, who, and she got things against brothers. I remember, she tried to go after Chance the Rapper. If y'all don't believe me, type in Mary Mitchell, a Chance the Rapper. And when people called out and said, yo, Mary, now you think go after this dude? But, but, but then Chance the Rapper and them turned around and threw Kelly under the bus. He's a lifelong Chicago. Everybody in Chicago know the rumors or whatnot. The news media trying to, R. Kelly, R. Kelly, R. Kelly. If it wasn't Justin Smollett last year, it was R. Kelly. Matter of fact, they the end of the year. R. Kelly, Justin Smollett. But, when, but they didn't mention all them white dudes as being in. Not one white dude. Or they think, oh, the Epstein, that's it. You may see somebody say about Harvey Weinstein, but Harvey Weinstein is still free. They go after Cuba Gooden now. Y'all, I told y'all, I said, they're going to go after these brothers. And I said, once they, 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 got, they got one, they said, oh, this is fun. I mean, I, I'm going to play the audio with, with, with that morning, with the, the interview. And I want you to listen to the one of the reporter. If you would have saw the reporter, he, like, even the reporter, he asked the question. And he like, I, I, he had this look at the guy like, dude, y'all fishing, you know. I mean... Like I said, Aaliyah's not here anymore. And to see people come out like Dame Dash, and now he got accused of something. And I'm like, these brothers, y'all don't understand. Y'all cutting y'all cutting each other's throats, thinking that's going to save you. They're coming after you next. All them years, Russ was sitting around there, cool, and I'm meditating by Russ Cod. They was waiting for his ass, too. I mean, look what they did last year. They went after Tavis Smiley, but Tavis fought back. You know what's getting heard nothing about Tavis in the media? Every week we find a video where, uh, where somebody is getting in a black man's face. And I keep telling y'all sisters, they've been, they, they got, they're using y'all to do this. But y'all, some of y'all don't want to see it. I want y'all to listen to this audio from this morning. Tiffany Hawkins. She was a 15-year-old sophomore at Kenwood Academy when Kelly 
Chuck picked her up and began sexual contact with her and five of her friends, who were all 15. Oh. 1991. Now, now, she never spoke to anyone except for me, for my book, Soulless, and now she's in this documentary, victim number one. Oh. And so were the parents of these girls oblivious, or was it a struggle? I think for the first decade or so, no one suspected Kelly of this kind of behavior. Um, of the 48 women whose names I know, who he preyed upon, each 48 is a women. 48 women whose names I know, and I believe Rob there are many more. Um, I think it's a different story for everybody. For some, it was he's so famous. Uh, for others, it, it was I, I'm never going to leave my daughter's side. Uh, he's going to make her a star, and I'll be with her every step. Uh, some some came from broken homes. You know, it, it, it's a tragic uh, documentary of everything that's difficult in the black community. Why these girls took up with this monster? For the first time on camera, Dominique Gardner, who was featured prominently in the first episode, her mom helps her get away yeah. from her Kelly. She was in that inner circle. Yeah. She went back to him, and then you talked to her first back in March. Yeah. And I'm wondering, she seemed like she was still in the throes of, you know, still defending him. And I'm wondering what she is like now, um, months later. She's about to become a mother. I think she's in a better place. Yeah. When I first, it took nine months for her to decide to go on the record with me. In all these 19 years of reporting, I never pushed any woman. They would come to me and they'd say, I think I have a story. No one wants to listen to me. I was like, when you're ready. Mm -hmm. um, for Dominique, it was nine months of text and emails and phone calls. I never contacted her once she came to me. Mm -hmm. And when she was ready, we spoke for two or three hours, and I told her story in The New Yorker and in, in, in the book. Uh, now she's on camera. Um, I think they're all suffering to varying degrees, a sort of PTSD and a lack of reality. For every one of them, it was, I loved him and he loved me. Always. It's the classic domestic abuse. Uh, many women say that when police officers show up at their door and they're battered and bruising, it was all just a big misunderstanding. Uh, his status, is he broke? Can he fight these things? He's never going to breathe fresh air again. He's subject to two federal indictments, one out of New York, one out of Chicago, two state cases, one out of Chicago, one out of uh, Minneapolis. Uh, I believe the count was more than you said. I think it's 43 charges now and almost two centuries in jail if convicted on all charges. I, you know, there's no way, no plea, no no way to fight all of these charges. His, Nobody in the history of pop music. His attorney says... That was all a rehash of old stuff, that first documentary series. Yeah. Uh, is, say, is he going to say the same thing about part two here? Well, you know, there's a scene where I blew up at him, uh, lost my cool for a moment, uh, at the indictment on Ken Fox's charges, uh, where he had called every one of these women liars. They're all liars. They're all gold diggers. They're all out for fame. How can 48 women all be lying and telling the same story? And there's video. There are four videos in this new case. Uh, the feds out of Brooklyn have hit him with a RICO case. Racketeering. That's what they go after El Chapo, drug lords, and the mob. That's what, you know, nobody in the history of pop music. You know, we can talk about Elvis Presley, Priscilla was 15. We can talk about whoever you want in the history of music. Nobody's been hit with a RICO case for having an organization allowed him to prey on four dozen or more young women. But locally, did Cook County authorities drop the ball on this? Well, the story of the 2008 trial is in my book, and it's a horrifying one. He should have been convicted in 2008. It was a problem with judgments and gone. The prosecutors tried, but the judge limited that case to one girl on one videotape who is now cooperating with the feds. Um, and she never testified. It, it, it's a travesty of justice, but I think all of Chicago failed. You know, the churches, the schools, the civil attorneys, the courts, and other journalists. It was a lonely road for me, Mary Mitchell, who's also in the documentary, and Abdon Palish, uh, for a long time. The whole world didn't care. Now, TV, very powerfully, you were saying that documentary blew your mind last year. Um, because suddenly you felt you met these women. And these are not liars. These are not fame-hungry uh, self-promoters. These these were girls like we went to school with, like your sister, your aunt, your cousin. Well, Jim DeRogatis, you'll see him in Surviving R. Kelly Part 2, The Reckoning. It's a three-night event. Premieres tonight on Lifetime. You can also join him next Tuesday at the Brooke Museum of Broadcast Communications for a discussion about the Lifetime documentary series. You can also check out Jim's book, Soulless, The Case Against R. Kelly, which is available now on Amazon.
Now, you heard what he said. He said some things that as black folks, you should be offended. He said that this is, was indicative of the black community, saying that in the black community, we let our women, our girls be attacked, that black men are not protecting them. Remember, he said that. And I told you before, he's been throwing that out. That's why you hear some black women like, nobody cares about us. He said, and then, and then the reporter asked him, like, who, the parents was oblivious? He is saying the same thing anybody would comment. Because if you, I wish y'all could have seen the, the, the clip. Because he was sitting there like, mm, Robin Baumgart, she, uh, uh. do you notice something else? He said something about Elvis. Because a lot of people have been bringing up, like, if y'all going to go after R. Kelly and make him the face of this, of messing with underage girls, what about Elvis and all these other dudes? But then he said, they got him a Rico charge. You see, those charges, that's how they get you. That's how they got Al Capone. See, they, they change, they're going, they going, they using other ways to get R. Kelly. And then if you guys, maybe you heard his inflection, dude was, he was giddy. He was just smiling this morning. And then he mentioned Mary Mitchell, some other person. I told y'all Mary Mitchell, a lot of this Mary Mitchell pushing this stuff. Because she got some, she got issue against, I'm telling y'all, if you from Chicago, y'all already know what I'm talking about. But you notice he dropped the name. I did a video the other day. I said, you notice they ain't mentioned Mary Mitchell that much. I don't say mention Mary Mitchell name because <clears throat> they getting blowback. If you go on to various websites, the women that was criticized before, you don't see all that criticism. Now, white women, white folk are criticized and saying R.K. is a monster. This is the reason why I did this commentary. They are taking this lead. See, I'm gonna tell y'all something. They don't. Let me tell you something. You remember when Chris, um, not Chris Brown, yeah, well, uh, Justin Lim Timberfake w took a break from music. Who was the main star of, of music at that point? Who was the it boys, it guys, Usher and Chris Brown? You had Justin Bieber coming up at that time. Well, that stuff with Chris Brown was tailor made, and 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 and, and Usher, <coughs> he helped. Make Justin Bieber a household name. When Justin Bieber got in trouble, who did the first thing the media said? Who, who uh, Bieber hanging around? They tried to throw it off on the black guys, remember? Charlamagne the God said, even said it. Yeah, Justin, get ready for them black guys. They, they, they bad influence, remember that? When Justin was coming back, they did not need no Chris Brown, and they damn sure need no, at that time, a 40-some-year-old R. Kelly competing against them. Now... <clears throat> you got these these musicians out here that singing falsetto and their sexuality is 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 in question. A lot of them, they ain't blowing up like that. So who been blowing up in music lately? Remember I told y'all the Jonas Brothers around that same time. Look at all them videos I said over the years, and I've been talking about this <clears throat> because excuse me, it was playing a day what they was doing. You knew exactly what they were doing. And now they, they had to go, well, you know the women. 48 women can't be lying. They, these, they are victims. It's their PTSD. Let me say this again. Those of us who were in high school in the 90s, the early to mid-90s, even if you wasn't in high school, everybody knew when Kelly was on the south side. They knew he was on the west side. They knew when he was on the west side at George Music Room, or whatever he was signing, signing um, his CDs and cassettes at, <coughs> black females, young and, and, and old enough to know better, was running. It was criticisms about, in our community, go back and look at the news accounts. Black men were criticizing black females and they taking their daughters or their nieces or young girls to R. Kelly concerts. They even talked about that in the 90s. Like, why are y'all taking these girls to R. Kelly concerts? Why are y'all doing this? See, they not going to tell that story. Well, they're 48 women. They That's the same thing they did with Bill Cosby. But if you go back and ask these women, why did you go back to him? Or why did you hang around him? Well, he did this to me. You didn't mean to tell me you had a mom and dad you couldn't went to? Well, nobody wanted to listen. Okay, if nobody listened to you, then you hold the parents and the guard responsibility. If you went to the police department, you can say, hey, I went to this police department over here at this time. Okay, who was on staff over there at the police department at that time? 
then, then who, who, who did you talk to? Well, I don't remember. Okay, but then guess what? But you still went to the police department. Whoever was there up in, in that chain of command should be held responsible. Any other time we do that, see, I'm not defending a, a, a adult who, who who's having inappropriate relations with children. That's not what I'm doing. What I'm saying is, is that that prejudice in the jury before he even went to court, they only arrested him because of the documentary. And now all of a sudden, y'all trying to make it like the black community, like black men are are are, 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 are just dog. You can watch this to the politics. Listen to how they, 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 these politicians are talking here. Look at Joy Reid, how they talk about, yeah, black women doing this. Black men are doing this. The other day, Roland Martin was talking about, now they got, they saying black men support Trump. 17 oh, come on. They doing it, they wait to, they, it's disconnected to politics, and it's connected, this is connected to, they do not want they men competing against black men. And they like seeing black men and black women at each other's throats. That's why some of you notice a lot of people, like, I'm telling you, at first, you had black women last year, <laughs> but then during the course of the year, they started to see things like, okay, wait a minute, y'all got R. Kelly and Bill Cosby, where the rest of them at? Some of them started listening to our commentaries. Like I said, if you a man or woman, you taking advantage of a child, your ass need to be in jail. But they not talking about what happened the last five or ten years. They talking about it happened down to 30, almost 30 years ago. And the person they talking about, she didn't even hear the yeah or nay. And when she was alive, she didn't say anything. Cause Dame Dash say so, cause John Legend say so. You see, they on inside of they, and they going all going to the same places they went for Chris Brown and Bill Cosby. Don't y'all see that damn pattern here? You had that lawyer that was out there with Stormy, was it, Stormy Daniels, and they found out he was still in shaking down people. Nobody in the media said, dude, why are you going out there? Because he did that to the flat. Notice they don't talk about his, his troubles, but they got him out there doing press conferences. I'm going to say this to my brothers. I don't care how fine she is. I don't care how much she says she can do to you in the bedroom. You better card her. You better let people know who you, you better, you better, you better not be, I'm, I'm dead serious. Cause I'm telling you right now, it's going to get to the point where brothers ain't going to be able to date nobody. And if you got a thing for little girls, you need to go get some help. Let me phrase that teenage girls. But my thing is if we find to go out and, but you notice how quick he said, yeah, we can talk about Elvis. No, nah, he wanted to flip. He won't, because he know that that's the conversation. People say, wait a minute, y'all making R. Kelly and them out to be this face when this is a long history of music of men and these groupies coming around. Y'all not talking about Madonna, she was 61 years old, messing with a 25. Y'all not saying that's inappropriate. She's 61. She got, she, she older than R. Kelly, messing with a 25 year old. Nobody ain't saying nothing about that. And the person, and the thing is, she's she messing around with a black man. I'm telling y'all, what happened was, they saw R. Kelly at these music award shows, and he was sitting around Lady Gaga and Paris Hilton, and he was and still was popular, and Justin Timberlake and Justin Bieber and them, they didn't, you know, Jonas Brothers, they didn't want them competing against some 50, well, at that time, a 40-some-year-old man. See, they got Chris Brown out of the way. You see Usher went and, went and went and set his ass down. He'd make a song here and there. But they don't, But you see how they tried to go after Usher. Gloria Red was involved in that. When nothing came of that, Usher went some. He, you ain't seen him since. Now they're going after Russell Simmons. I'm telling y'all, don't be surprised they go after 50 Cent in them next. Don't be surprised. Look how when Seal criticized Oprah and all of a sudden they, somebody, the women came out and said Seal did something. Seal got quiet. Because they, they, they know that's how you destroy a black man. Accuse him of some sexual. If you can't get accused of a murder, accuse him of some sexual. And I'm going to tell y'all, if y'all watching this part two of this R. Kelly thing, y'all part of the problem. The black community should be upset that, that and they, they put that black woman out, but it was that white man and white woman. And you heard this, the white guy in the audio. He, he said, you, you seen the scene when I blew up. 
He knew they, this is a hit piece. That's my problem with this. Like I said, if R. Kelly was currently with underage girls, and they, and they called him like, yo, dude, should have learned your lesson, should have known better. But they can't say nothing happened in the 2000s, just all in the 90s. And now these women who in the, in the 90s who went around there was doing all kinds of things. And, that's, and I keep telling y'all, we was in high school too. We knew what the high school girls was doing. And back in the 90s, we used to call them chicken heads and motor heads and whatever, car booties and stuff. We knew what they was doing. Any dude that was old or any dude like they had any money, they bounced. If they wasn't messing with, with some, some, some drug dealer, if some dude had a little fame, they were chasing after. If they wasn't messing with a college dude, they would mess with teachers. I'm telling you, and, and, we, and, and we forget about that. Y'all talking about R. Kelly, a monster. You just had a dude that went around spreading HIV on purpose in the news media. They silent on that. This is why we need black media. We need to call out. Like people say, well, y'all doing tit for tat. We got to at this point because it seemed like every time an election come around or, or somebody in our community that's prominent, they go after it. And I'm telling y'all, all this stuff is connected. All because they can get that dude in the White House. And once they say, well, we can't get it, we can go after one of these celebrities or something. And they, and they say, oh, wow, it works. Right now, they are pregnant. Our kid can never get a fair trial. And then I'm watching these videos of Vlad, all these Negroes on Vlad. Yeah, I can't get it. And I'm like, y'all sitting in front of a white dude that's, that and, and got caught trying to instigate shit between brothers who sat back and spread misinformation, gossip like a little girl. Y'all didn't hear. Yeah, we knew our kid. Wait a minute. If you knew he was doing this, your ass should be in jail too. Maybe we should be saying the parents that, was, that knew was something going on, the teachers, whomever, they all should be in jail right along with R. Kelly. See, that's why you know how people are hypocrites. That's why when Lady Gaga quickly ran away, well, I didn't know Robert, but she defended him when they asked her about this. But when he got, the, the documentary came out, everybody. Taylor Swift had something. Celine Dion had, I'm like, and I'm sitting there I'm like, don't y'all know they're going to white women and first getting all the, they, in white America getting all they, they comments first, just like they did with Chris Brown and, and, and Cosby and Michael Jackson. Don't y'all see what's going on here? Now, if you're a white person, you ain't doing this. And there are some white people out here defending R. Kelly. Surprise, surprise. Because some of them are saying, how did anybody not know? If this guy was doing all what they said he did, ain't no way they let it. That's the worst kept secret around. They always monitor black folk. So how did nobody know about this? And I'm pretty sure the moment he was accused... The FBI got involved. The federal, the federal authorities got involved. Now they get involved. Now they talking about they get, they get on RICO violation because everything else they know they can't get them double jeopardy. So they said, let's go back and rehash something. See, I keep telling y'all when they did Cosby, they changed the laws and the rules. I said they ain't gonna stop. Ask yourself why aren't they coming into the black community and asking the black community, but they go into the white community and get get get, they, get their opinions on on things. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm telling you right now, <clears throat> whether you're famous or not, you better pray somebody don't accuse you of something you didn't do. Or if you made a mistake when you was a kid, you better hope that don't come bite you on the ass. I'm telling you right now, when they did that cat call video, and I, I saw it, I was like, uh-oh. Some of y'all saw it, read along with me, and some others like, Nah, you can't. If you're being paranoid, I'm like, y'all Yo, don't realize it. Why you Why you think last year, like, everything turned out, brother was being accused when the year before last, up in, into, into 2019. But they've been focused on R. Kelly like a hawk. Because they said, we, the year, we got Bill Cosby, but we going to get him. Now they're looking at Russell Simmons. Now when Oprah came back, and that's, that's how they're getting covered. Remember that picture? Oprah and Gail was on that boat. Who they was talking to? Who they was friend? Who she who she hangs around? They, look at them people with their connection to Michael Jackson and Bill Cosby and R. Kelly and all of them. Don't you don't y'all find a pattern there? 
what it is, they they, they they use your talents, they use you up, and they said, okay, it's time for them to go. We need somebody to replace them. This is why the Me Too movement, Tawana, and Tawana Burke, she played, she, she played, she ate it in this crap. We ain't focused on it, we focus just on black men. Well, I got a question. When are we going to start holding black females responsible? Because y'all tell little black boys to act mature, be men, carry yourself a certain way, be mature. Y'all don't say that to little black girls or teenage black girls. Y'all don't say that to them. See, it's all the onus is always put back on a black male. And I'm not saying brothers don't have no responsibilities. That I'd be disingenuous in saying that. Because there are black guys in the community that need to be in the in jail, need to be called out. But y'all protect them and then y'all wait till y'all get a certain age. Now y'all wanna y'all wanna pull that shit white females are doing. Well, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, and you look at them like. How are you a victim when you didn't say shit years ago? See, now I don't know if you're telling me the truth or you're trying to manipulate. And a lot of these stories are manipulation. See, these are, and I, I don't feel sorry for none of these females. They all thoughts. They all chased after Kelly. Their parents and their siblings pushed them in this man's path. Now, yeah, ultimately, R. Kelly should have said, uh-uh. But my thing is, why ain't nobody calling these, these people out? Everybody, everybody, and I'm, I'm sitting there like, all of a sudden, R. Kelly is a villain of the story? This is why a guy said, for 19 years, I've been trying to get people. Nobody, and it's addicted in a black community. I'm like, wow. But every month, we hear about some white female going, going, getting, getting kidnapped, running away, joining a sex cult. I guess you forgot about Allison Mack and that sex cult. But you say it's indicative of the black community. Who runs the Hollywood and think they're gonna be starless and get in the porn industry? They don't make they can't make it in Hollywood. Who's been out here selling selling sex for years and, 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 and whatnot? Caucasian women. And now they got us now a lot of them got old now. They, they ain't making that money. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't nobody drooling over them. So that's yeah, sexual harassment. But then people start calling them out and say, wait a minute, if we get other women to come along, we can sit there and say, this is an epidemic across the country. They got tired of seeing their men making that, making that pro. That's why you start seeing white women on TV talking about, well, we don't know. We just cancel culture. We, we, we got to be careful that we don't wrongfully accuse anybody. I'm telling y'all right now, our, our, and I said it, our Kelly ain't getting out of jail. He's in there. Bill Cosby, Unfortunately, he he's in there. He may he may not make it and make it at his age. And all the Negroes that participated in talking, yeah, yeah, he did it. Y'all, they come. Karma's coming back on y'all because a lot of this stuff we could take care of in our, in our community. Nineteen ninety four is when this shit should have been nipped in the bud with R. Kelly and Aaliyah. And and, and, and if people came in, like I said, said in my other videos, there were a lot of black men and women, but mostly black men. Like yo, this is a problem. And not just because of R. Kelly. This is a problem with some of our, our teenage sisters or our uh, cousins or our, uh, our aunts and them chasing our mothers, chasing after dudes in the community that they know are no good that are, or, or taking advantage of them. You don't know our love. You, you, you're you just jealous. And then a few years later, you want the same people to come back. That's why I, I, I can't feel sorry for these females. Because they knew the rumors, they knew what was going on, and they, and they willingly went in there. And like I said, right now, the management team, the hang of security, the women that knew R. Kelly, the saw thing, I, I mean, everybody, they should be up on the charges too. If we if we seriously give a damn about the black community, and you notice he said the church, you know, he politicians, you notice he said, well, the, me, the media... The Chicago media would, would, would drop the ball on a lot of this stuff. And a lot of it, they, black media knew about this stuff. But they dismissive of, a, of, of black media. How many times have we heard brothers in the community say, yo, man, hey, that dude down the street is no good. Daddy, you don't know what you're talking about. I love him. Granddaddy, you made me my brother, but you don't tell. You're not my father. You don't tell. And we sitting there looking. We're like, okay. Now, y'all at an age now when nobody's looking at because all the women that are older now, they're older. 
They can't, they, dudes ain't looking at them no more. They're looking at younger, younger females now. Now they bitter and angry. Y'all aiding white supremacy. Y'all aiding the white feminist movement, and you don't even realize it. And the only reason why they stopped going to Ar Ar Kelly because they saw who was sitting around him. They're like, uh-oh, can't have no Taylor Swift and Lady Gaga around. Oh, hell no. But this right here, SNL triggered it. This would trigger it. Nobody gave a damn about Ar Nobody said nothing about R. Kelly until they saw these two perform. And it was sexualized. So all them videos I've been doing, I've been pointing out this, I hate this, I, I gotta say it again, I told you so. Now Lifetime is doing the hippies, people should be asking Lifetime, where are the white, what are you gonna do it on the white men and white women? What are y'all gonna do it on those, remember that show, people should be asking, why they, won't they bring that show back? What the, they ain't gonna do that. As long as you wanna make us the face of, of sexual predators, everybody cool. And some of our women, y'all going to run along with this, don't realize what y'all doing. Then when y'all get, then y'all get taken advantage of, y'all looking for brothers to come along, y'all done, done alienated us. When Daniel Hoist called, was raping those women, where were all this outrage at? It was black men out here yelling. Even Roland Martin, who he had issue with, he was the only one in the press talking about it. Me, Professor Black, True, Sean, Jay, all, Knowledge Speaks, all of us. We was out yelling about, yo, what about this hoist call dude? He's raping black women. It was no outrage. You, over 2020, Juju Chang did a special. They made it like these sisters was lying. That's why Monique was calling me out. He was like, yo, y'all got different standards. And anybody that attempted to defend R. Kelly, as soon, as soon as a black woman attempted to defend R. Kelly, Bill Cosby and them, they pounced on them. But Scarlett Johansson defending Woody Allen and them, they ain't saying a word. We, we are, I'm telling y'all, we are being manipulated. And they doing around poly, the, the, these elections, and they, and they time it just right. It's always around the election cycle. Don't believe me, go look at those, those events. And I guarantee they're all around election cycles. It's either every four years or every two years. There's something. I'm telling y'all, go back and look. 